This video introduces the basics of how to generate a copper pour. But why use a copper pour? Key points are it can provide a lower impedance path, improve screening and reduce interference, improve thermal properties acting as a heat sink. However, now we introduce the copper pour function. With your schematic completed and translated to a PCB, we first define the copper pour area. Select Add area for copper pour from the design tools. Then on the PCB, define your area. In this case, we want to cover the top copper layer. So simply draw an area outside of the board outline. Double click to complete the area. Press the escape key to exit the add area mode and the pour copper icon will be enabled. Click the pour copper icon and a window will appear. Now select the net you wish to connect to the copper pour and the copper pour will be poured. Where did the spacing values for the pour for tracks and pads come from? The copper pour follows the normal values as set in the design technology on the spacings tab. A copper pour is a shape, so this row defines the values used. If you wish to change the pour, do not delete it. Simply select the clear copper icon. Set the required values in the design technology and repeat the copper pour. This completes a simple copper pour. However, what if you require to exclude copper from a specific area in the pour? With the poured copper cleared, define the area to be excluded with the same add area for copper pour. Now left click on the outline to select, right click and select properties. Here you can define this area as a keep out. Select this. Now pour the copper and the keep out area is excluded from the copper. The copper pour can be placed on any layer. While drawing the pour outline, Press the shortcut key L to switch layers. Here we show the existing pore outline being selected and the layer changed. This could have also been done by using the shortcut key L. The copper is now poured on the bottom copper layer. Here we show a further copper pore area being added to the top copper layer. This video introduced the basics of the copper pour function. Please see further videos for more detailed explanations of the options available in the copper pour properties and other advanced techniques.